There's some boards underneath the boat that support a box at the back that's going to hold the outboard motors. And we want to attach those better. So after grinding down to bare fiberglass, we're putting in some radiuses using fairing compound. And that will help the new fiberglass that we're going to lay down over this go around the corner. Because fiberglass doesn't like to go around right angle corners. You need kind of a curve to it. So that's what I'm making with this fairing compound here. And after every step in fiberglass, there is sanding. So I'm sanding the edges of those radiuses smooth and sanding any other rough spots as well. And then I wipe down with acetone because that's what you do after sanding. And so this is more fairing compound. There's been some fiberglass laid between that 2x6 and the side of the boat and I'm going to smooth in the texture of that fiberglass and build kind of back out more or less to where we started before grinding back to bare glass to do this repair or addition. And the fairing compound goes on with the spatula flat and then comes off with it kind of at right angles to the surface. So you leave compound in the low spots, basically. And after doing this everywhere, then there will be sanding to get rid of the rough surface from the fairing compound. There's sanding after every step. So now I'm brushing off the dust from sanding and once the bulk of it's off I can wipe down with acetone. And I'm using chop strand matte fiberglass which is random, it's not woven cloth, it's a bunch of random fibers that are held together with sort of a glue, sort of a binder. And I'm tearing little strips off of the roll. And at the end of my strips where it was the edge of the sharp edge of the roll, I'm tearing the edge there so that all the edges of my fiberglass will have a torn edge so it, it sort of feathers in the repair and there's no hard edge that will be seen after the repair is done. And I'm gonna make up a bunch of mini rolls like this with the feathered ends. And once I've gotten a whole pile of the mini rolls I'm gonna tear little strips three or four inches wide that's going to be the first layer of tabbing um, basically to assure a bond there's more surface area at the spot where two things are glued together you'll see how that works in a minute so I've got a whole pile of these three or four inch wide strips of fiberglass and I've got several more of my mini rolls and I'm going to tear them into strips that are about twice as wide as the first set of strips. 
and yeah, that kind of looks like the previous operation, except wider. So now I've got a big pile of wide fiberglass strips and a big pile of thin ones. And I've got a whole bunch of these foam rollers and the resin will dissolve them eventually but they work for a little while and the same thing with the rubber gloves. The cup is 300 cc's and I'm going to use two right now and this little syringe is three cc's so one syringe for each cup um, is a hundred to one ratio of hardener to resin and I don't know if you can see it or not it does turn from a pinkish shade of brown to a brownish shade of brown when you mix it so I'm just making the spot wet where I'm gonna lay in my tabbing and the wet resin lets this fiberglass actually stick in place even upside down and once I've got it stuck where I want it then I come back and wet it out with some more resin and this takes a bit of time you want to get every last bit of air out of it and you can actually see when that happens because the glass looks kind of white when you put it down but once you've got it completely saturated with resin it will go completely clear and that's what you want any spot that isn't clear is a spot where there's air between the surface and the fiberglass you just lay down and so it's not even glued together there and so I just work my way along overlapping these by maybe a third or so so it's at least three layers thick with these thin strips and just when I thought I was done now I have to come back with the wider strips and I'm laying them in so that they go beyond the original tabbing in each direction basically increase because everything is just glued together increasing the number of square inches of glued area increases the strength of the bond at this corner I think that's why they call this tabbing to assure bond and again I'm gonna put three or four layers thick and then as I'm moving down I'm overlapping by about a third and because I have a catamaran once I finish one side I get to do the exact same job all over again on the other side and it's not just these two by sixes there's a couple of two by fours under the center that will need the same reinforcement that plywood right where I'm working is the box that Marshall had added to the back of the boat and then the white just ahead of it is what used to be the back of the hull of the the underside of the hull of the bridge deck and these boards are basically attaching that box to the rest of the boat and the box will hold the motors so that's kind of important that that be on there pretty strong so yeah these are the two two by fours and they extend under the box and extend forward maybe another five or six feet 
whereas the two by sixes on the sides went quite a bit more forward. So just like before, I'm gonna get everything wet with resin and then I can stick my fiberglass tapping in place and once it's not going to move I can wet it out and then I just lay in a bunch of layers and as I move forward I overlap by about a third or more so it's three or four layers thick all the way along and once I'm through with that then Oh, I'm sanding. That means I'm going to wipe down with acetone after I'm through sanding. There you go. Those always go together. And now I can put down the wider tabbing. It must have been a different day. And I like to put wet on wet because you can just keep going. Once it sets up, there's little glass splinters and stuff that make it hard to lay the next layer flat on the first. So I just run the sander over it and knock those off and things just go much... It, it, it takes less time to run the sander than to fight with the glass. And so this all gets very redundant working late into the day. But it's the same deal on the two by four, both sides of both two by fours. And There is a lot of tabbing on here now, so these will be attached to the boat real good.